The second season of the most overhyped animated show of recent times is now fully out, and what a complete mess of ideas it was. If the plot had issues before, now the writer is not even trying to have proper pacing. There are half a dozen stories happening at the same time, and you never spend more than a few minutes on any of them. How are you supposed to give a shit? Each of them could have been its own movie or miniseries, but no! They had to cram everything in the same show, while at the same time taking out most of the build-up. It's not like they didn't have enough time either, since the first 10 minutes of every episode look like a slow-paced music video clip. They do it to build atmosphere, you might think, but when whatever follows is so rushed and convoluted, said atmosphere goes to waste. They start with street riots, which were fairly easy to follow since they were part of a typical young adult dystopia setting, and a few episodes later they jump to time travel, alternative dimensions, hive minds and existential debates at the same time! I mean, you can still watch it just for the animation and the artwork, they are still the best looking thing I have seen so far. But does it matter when you can't connect with anything because of how rushed and convoluted it is? Or are we supposed to once again pretend like animation is the only thing that matters? Why is this shit still above 9 on IMDb? It's the lesbians, isn't it? Oh yeah, every progressive and coomer is most likely jumping from joy at how it became even more extreme in this regard. Now they do it in front of your eyes! Who cares if there was zero build-up to their relationship and had absolutely nothing to do with the plot? They do it on screen to own the charts! Well, good for you, queers, you got your representation. I stopped caring about everyone and everything midway because of the incomprehensible plot! Which is a shame, since the characterization was generally okay in the first season. Nobody was one-dimensional and everyone had a tragic side. The convoluted bullshit of the second season ruined even that! Needless to say, the second season is way worse than the first, I give it a 4, just because it looks pretty. If you take into account the first season as well, Arcane doesn't deserve more than a 5. And let's not act like nothing better came out this year in cartoons. Since X-Men 97 was a blast to watch, even when everyone looked gayer compared to the 90s cartoon.